Hello everyone, this tutorial will be about getting started with Miyamoto, the new Sumo Brothers U level editor. Um, first of all, the latest version as of now is version 19, which is the version I'll be using in this video. Um, I'll put all the links to everything you need in the description. Um, first, start with downloading Miyamoto from here. After you download it, download data.zip from here and then download objects.zip from here. Which I have already done here. Um, after that, you want to download the bug fix version. Basically, I found a major bug after I released version 19, so it, it really is a major bug, so I could just leave it to the next version. So, yeah, I download the zip file as well. After I download all the zip files I just mentioned, extract Miyamoto like this, and then open the bug fix um, zip file like that, and then drag all those three files to where Miyamoto is and click replace. After that, you're free to close this zip file and then delete it if you want. Next, you want to extract data.zip like this to a folder called data, like that. And after you do that, you want to drag this folder to where Miyamoto is, just like this. If you don't do this step, expect your level to crash in game, really. After that, you want to extract objects.zip, which I have already done right here. And now let's start with running Miyamoto. Um, if this is the first time you're running Miyamoto, it will tell you to choose the cars folder. It's basically the folder which has the New Super Mario Brothers level files. You just select that folder and then this this thing will pop up. It will tell you to choose a level archive. If you click cancel it will load one dish one. It's a little bit slow because my laptop is really slow these days for some reason. I'll, um, this old tab will probably be disabled for you, so I'll show you now how to enable it. Go to File, and then Change Objects Path, and then select the folder we extracted from Object Desktop, which is this folder. Select it like that and wait for it to load. After that, the old tab will be enabled and you can choose whatever object you want. Um, a bunch of numbers, basically. There's a te uh, text document which comes with the objects. A it contains a list of what each number means. Like that. And one thing you have to pay attention to is that you have a limit of how many objects you can use. You basically have a limit of 768 tiles per area. And yeah. Um, if you want to free tiles, you could delete objects from the embedded tab. Like this. Basically, delete all the objects you are not using. I'm not going to use any of those. This is going to take a lot, so just create a new level instead. Alright, let's create a new zone. I want to make a desert level, so... Desert. That and 
section of it and freeze it like that. But okay. And let's enable the grid. Let's expand the zone a bit like that. And let's start making or whatever. Uh Thirteen is desert. If I recall correctly. Yep, it is. Uh, before I start making a level, um, you might want to ask how do you add your custom tile sets. So you need to download Puzzle, the Nissan Brothers U tile set editor. I have already downloaded it right here. I'm going to run it and you're going to open your custom tile set or just make it once um, I'm not going to show how to use puzzle because that will need a whole new video uh, so after done making your custom tile sets all you need to do is go to tasks and then export all objects and then select the folder we extracted from objects.zip select it like that and wait for it. It should take about 5 seconds or 10 seconds. But then again my laptop is slow. Anyway, it it's done. After that you want to restart Miyamoto or just change the area or change the level, I don't know. So I'm going to restart Miyamoto. There we go. New level. Let's get back to where we were. New two hundred and forty. Fifty-six. Fifty-six. Yeah. And desert. Okay. Let's try this. That. Anyway, after you have ex exported all the objects, if you go to the old tab and then check the folder picker, whatever thing. You found that there's a new um, item, you could say, and if we select it, it's your custom tile set, like that, and you could paint it like that, and it works. And that, just like that. I'm going to delete. And again, to free space, you want to delete objects that you will not going to use. Go back to 13 and start making a level. I painted them on the, on the wrong layer. Um, this is easy to fix. Just select whatever you want to. I don't know. Change their layer. I want to change their layer to one. So I'm going to press Alt and then select one. Like that.
that's so much. This object is quite huge. It takes about 117 tiles, if I remember correctly. It's really gigantic. And just to prove that custom tile sets work as well, I'm going to use this even though it's just a bad idea. It really is a bad idea. But whatever. Right here. Oh my god. Right here. Right there.
something like that. right here set the background to desert okay let's decorate this place oh we didn't think we so Set to the timer. Let's set it to something like 100 or something. Let's <clears throat> add a Goomba or something. A few Goombas right here. That and let's save the level. And I'll see you when I record the footage.